Greetings dear friends, Dragon here once again, back with an upcoming titles video. This is all the releases that I have my eye on between now and the end of the year. Um, so we were talking about September to December 2022. There's a lot of releases coming. This is by no means every single one that's coming out. These are just the ones that are on my radar and the ones that ideally I'd really like to cover on the channel. Don't know if I'm going to be able to afford to do that. My three full-time jobs have been slashed into two full-time jobs, so I have got a little bit less money to play with. Going to have to sell a huge amount of stuff to try and fund a lot of these titles, and I'm probably going to have to streamline the channel a little bit, so you'll see an awful lot less American movies on here. Pretty much just going to go back to my original kind of uh, preferred choice of topic, which is East Asian cinema, and that's most of the releases that are going to be in this video. So without any further rambling from me, let's jump in. First off, two that are actually already available, but I think they've only just started to ship. For my friends over at Spectrum Films in France, they put out two fantastic Shaw Brothers doubles, uh, so each release has two movies on it. The first was The Wonderful Lady Assassin and Secret Service of the Imperial Court, two firm favourites. The second is What Price Honesty and Gangmaster. Both of these are available for ordering now from Spectrum, but they do not have English subs on them. I know this is a big stumbling block for a lot of people. I'm just really happy to see glorious versions of rarer Shaw Brothers movies coming out onto Blu-ray. It'd be great if another label picks these up in due course, but for the time being, these are absolutely your best option for seeing really good quality remasters of four truly fantastic Shaw's movies. So yeah, links down to Spectrum Films below. Jumping into September, Coming towards the end of September, we see two releases coming from Eureka that are probably the, the two most exciting releases for most people that are coming this month. Uh, we get the Police Story 4K trilogy and we get a separate standalone release of uh, Police Story 3, aka Supercop, both coming on the 26th of September. Let's take a look at the trilogy first. So this is a 4K release. There's no extra Blu-ray discs on here, so it's purely just 4K. Uh, this, I believe, Eureka are choosing to do because they already have their pretty great box set of Police Story 1 and 2, and then they're planning a standalone of 3, so the, the box set, it kind of makes sense that it's just 4K. Would have quite liked it to be dual format, but not the case. But in this instance, we're getting Kung Fu Bob artwork, which I'm a huge, huge fan of, and unfortunately not individual artwork on the discs, which was, I believe, initially planned. Uh, this is going to be about £60, depending on where you order it from. Uh, Extras-wise, looks pretty loaded. Uh, we get commentary tracks across all three. We get all the extras that are ported over from the, the previous box set, as well as some new bits and pieces. We get commentary from Mike Leader and Arna Venema. We also get a separate commentary by Frank Jeng and F.G. DeSanto on Police Story 3, along with a host of other stuff. Pretty loaded box set. I think this one that's on most people's shopping list certainly is on mine. But Police Story in particular is one of the ones that gets confusing because there's multiple different versions coming. So this is the not the only 4K release. Later in the year, we also have a separate standalone release of Supercop coming in 4K from 88 Films. That will be an American release only. So a lot of the instances of, of us seeing multiple copies of the films coming out is because one is going to be for the UK market, one is going to be for the US market. Sometimes the labels will share. As is the case with Arrow and Eureka, they often put out exactly the same version, just with slightly different cover art on either sides of the Atlantic. With 88 and Eureka, not the case. I think we can pretty much assume that the, the extras are going to be very different. This is also true of the various Vinegar Syndrome releases that are coming out that 88 also have a version for. But we'll cover each of those in turn. So yeah, 26th of September sees the, the 4K trilogy along with a separate standalone version of a regular Blu-ray of Police Story 3. That has cover art by the uh, the regular artist of choice for Eureka by Darren Wheeling. A reversible cover with the original Hong Kong poster art. I think we get pretty much the same extra features that are going to be on the 4K release. Uh, we also get multiple cuts of the movie. So we get the Hong Kong theatrical version as well as the US or the Miramax cut. Uh, we get uh, interviews with, with John Crang. We get a new feature on rarely seen Jackie Chan video games by Arna Venema. A new feature on the filming locations of the Police Story trilogy. Archive interviews with Jackie Chan, Michelle Yeoh, uh, Stanley Tong, and loads more. And I think a lot of those are starting to come from Frederick Ambrosine's archives, which is great to see. An interview with Jackie Chan's longtime bodyguard and co-star Ken Lowe, and 50 minutes worth of outtakes. A pretty loaded package all in all for the standalone Blu-ray. There is a separate Blu-ray also coming from 88 Films, which will come in December. Not too sure on the exact extras that are going to be on that, but they are going to be different. So depending on which version you go for, they're not going to be exactly the same. And the cover art on the 88 version, way, way better for the standalone. In my opinion, that has been done by Sean Longmore, who's really just knocking it out of the park with his releases for 88 films. Glorious artwork, and there'll be two different versions available in the States from 88. So we get a 4K release, and we also get a separate Blu-ray. So you do have some choices. If you want to get it quick, 
You've got the Rika version at the end of September. If you want to hold fire for the 88 version, or if you're in the States and you don't want to import, it's looking like being probably around about the 20th of December, I believe. A lot of these dates have been changing. That's partly why this video has taken such a long time to come out. Sticking with 88 films and sticking with September, on the 26th of September, the same day as the Police Story box set, we get 88 putting out a deluxe version of On the Run, the Yun Bio movie. We're seeing a host of great Yun Bio titles coming this year, and this is no exception. On the Run's coming as a deluxe edition, so it's one of the ones with a rigid slipcase, a poster, lobby cards, a really nice full-bound book. Cover art once again by Kung Fu Bob on this release. Pretty glorious movie, a bit darker than normal, um, a little bit darker than some of the other Yoon Bio movies we've seen coming this year from Eureka. Uh, this one a little bit more of a crime thriller. But pretty great, uh, directed, I believe, by Alfred Chum. Extras-wise, we get two separate commentary tracks, uh, one by Kenneth Brosson and Phil Gillen of the podcast on Fire Network, and a commentary track by Frank Jain and joined by F.G. DeSanto again. We also get uh, interviews with Alfred Chung and David West, uh, alternate endings, Hong Kong trailers, and a reversible sleeve, all that good stuff. So yeah, that comes on the 26th of September as well. A day later, and we jump back to the States, and we're getting a, a release of Shogun Samurai, directed by the wonderful Kenji Fukusaku, the director of Battle Royal and the Battles Without Honor and Humanity series. Uh, this is starring Sunny Chiba, uh, the first of two big Sunny Chiba releases that are coming uh, over the course of the year. This one is going to be US only, so it's a Region A lock title. Pretty incredible, already up for pre-order. You can find this on Amazon for not too, too much money, um, but looks really, really great. It's nice to see Discotech doing more live action features, especially kind of some Sonny Chiba movies, which we desperately don't have enough of after his untimely passing. Same day, back in the UK from Arrow, we're getting a release of A Fugitive from the Past, directed by Tomo Uchida. This is, looks like a crime thriller, not one that I've seen, um, but looks pretty intriguing. Artwork by Tony Stella looks pretty great, um, but all around uh, quite a nice looking release. I've uh, seen specific commentaries on there. We get an introduction by writer and curator Jasper Sharp. Um, and I believe this is one of the first times that this movie has been seen outside of Japan. So it's a fugitive from the past. Also coming towards the end of September, though no exact release date has been um, been set so far. I believe they're shipping around about the 27th, so same sort of time. Our two releases coming from Vinegar Syndrome. They're once again going to be 88 to the punch and they're bringing out their own version of The Iceman Cometh. Has very different cover art uh, to the 88 version, very different extras to the 88 version. Uh, we're also getting Viva Erotica starring Leslie Chung and Shu Q uh, coming on the same day. Both of these look pretty incredible. Viva Erotica, I think, is one of the partner label releases, and then The Iceman Cometh is one of the kind of full-blown Vinegar Syndrome releases. Not coming in the same sort of format as we saw their version of Writing Wrong, so I think it's just a slipcase. But artwork looks pretty incredible, which really, really nicely done. I think it's by Robert Semelin. Uh, looks like a pretty loaded set, um, some quite interesting extras on there. And again, it's crazy to see that, that Vinegar Syndrome are really kind of beating out 88 films in terms of getting their releases onto the market a lot faster. The extras for the 88 version of Iceman Cometh, which will be a Region B version, Vinegar Syndrome is going to be Region A, have still to be announced, so we're not too sure exactly what's going to be on there. But the artwork on the 88 version by Sean Longmore, pretty damn cool. This is another great Yun Bale movie, also starring Yun Wah and Maggie Chung. Pretty great uh, sort of time travel action adventure movie. Um, pretty great all around, one that I've not seen for a very, very long time. I'm pretty excited to get a chance to check it out again. And I'm going to try my damnedest to try and cover both versions. So as I'm planning to do with Right and Wrongs as well, I'll try and do a comparison in due course between the two different versions once they've both been released. Certainly once we know the extras, I'll try and do an update on what's going to be on the 88 version. But yeah, both of those coming at the end of September from Vinegar Syndrome, both already up for pre-order on their own website. And that takes us to the end of September, already a pretty damn expensive month, and it is only set to get worse. Let's jump into October. So first up, we get one of the Chow and Fat's Better American movies, produced by John Woo, The Replacement Killers, coming from Mill Creek Entertainment in one of their weird sort of retro VHS-style covers on October the 4th. Uh, around the same time, in fact a day earlier, on October the 3rd, we get the, the delayed Angela Mao double feature coming from Eureka in the UK, so the Region B version of this which features Lady Whirlwind and Hap Kiro, two pretty fantastic movies, uh, both co-starring Sammo Hung, classic Kung Fu action movies really, um, and two fantastic showcases for Angela Mao. This is also getting a Region A release from Arrow, but no exact date has been set so far, but I believe the discs are going to be virtually identical in that instance, so depending on which one you get, there's not going to be a huge amount of difference between the, the US or the UK version, just different cover art, and we've not had a chance to see the Arrow version so far. But yeah, that's pretty damn essential. The Angela Mao double looks pretty fantastic. The Eureka version, the UK version, already up for pre-order. Again, links down to that, along with everything else down underneath this video. About a week or so later, just a little bit less than a week, on October the 11th, 
we get Kino Lauber giving us Blind Fury, the Rutger Hauer pretty great uh, kind of remake of a Zatoichi movie. No idea on the extras on that so far, but the release looks pretty cool. Tiny little bit later on than that, we get uh, from Third Window, uh, one that I'm mentioning because my buddy Kevin would shoot me if I didn't, is the Nobuhiko Obayashi 80s Kadakawa Years box set. Uh, that is going to be um, probably your best bet to get that early. Um, a slight discount will be to order through Terracotta. So again, I'll leave a link down to that below. Not movies I know anything about at all. So that one I'm not too sure if I can stretch to. Because on the same day, there is a, a Zavi exclusive coming of a not Hong Kong movie, but a movie that I do really, really love, which is a, a Zavi exclusive of Ex Machina, Alex Garland's great movie, coming in a deluxe 4K and Steelbook edition with uh, with artwork by Jock, who's one of my favourite cover artists, or one of my favourite comic book artists, really. You might know Jock's work from the Raid Steelbooks and from the Walking Dead Steelbooks that he did back in the day, and currently is absolutely knocking it out of the park, writing and, uh, and drawing Batman uh, for DC. Uh, so that also comes on the same day on October the 17th. A day later, uh, we get the heavily delayed release of Dragons Forever coming on 4K in the UK from 88 Films and in the States coming on 4K and on a separate standard Blu-ray release. New deluxe versions, so brand new artwork which looks absolutely glorious once again by Sean Longmore. Both of these have slightly different extras to the ones that we saw on their previous two releases. This is obviously the third time that 88 have brought out Dragons Forever in the UK. They previously did their version with beautiful cover art by the Kung Fu Bob, and then they did a separate steelbook release, one of their first steelbooks. And this is their third release, and it's kind of third time kind of bringing this out with a few new extras crammed onto there. Um, and like I say, new cover art. But if you're in the States, this will be the first time that you're seeing a version coming from 88 Films. It's pretty fantastic. Huge fan of Sean Longmore's artwork, but for many of us, it's going to be a hard question with so many other things coming out of whether we triple dip, in some cases, on another version of Dragons Forever. I'm going to try and track down the standard Blu-ray out of the States. I'm a big fan of the artwork and I want the new extras and it'd be good to do a comparison. So we'll see how that unfolds. Same day, two releases coming from the new guys in the block, Error 4444. We're bringing out two kind of Cat 3 Hong Kong horror fantasy movies, uh, Centipede Horror and Red Spells Spells Red. Neither of these movies have I seen. They both look pretty wild, both look quite interesting and Era 4444, quite an intriguing company. They've got some incredible stuff planned, which we'll get to later in the video. But those two releases available in two different cover options, quite deluxe packages, quite pricey, but it looks like they've put together a pretty good bundle for the two. Uh, you can check that out on their own website direct. Um, but yeah, I think I probably want to get a bill to stretch to one of those. Uh, my eye is on Red Spells, Spells Red, with its glorious tie poster. Looks pretty damn funky. We also get a little bit later the, the heavily delayed version of Writing Wrongs coming in the UK from 88 Films. That is once again with Sean Longmore on cover art duties. Quite different extras to the ones that we saw on Writing Wrongs in the States from Vinegar Syndrome. I, I believe this one has an ending randomizer, uh, which Brandon Bentley has been teasing out. So you're never going to be too, too sure exactly which ending you get, which I think is quite a nice touch. It kind of makes the movie a little bit different every time that you watch it. And all around different extras to the ones that we saw on the Vinegar Syndrome version. So again, uh, if you've already got the VS version, you're going to have to uh, kind of think long and hard if you want to double dip on that. But Right and Wrong is a truly fantastic movie. And great to see 88's version finally coming through. That's going to be on October the 24th. Same day, they're also bringing out another movie that's previously seen uh, or released in the States from Vinegar Syndrome. And they're bringing out the, the crazy Ebola Syndrome starring Anthony Wong, the Cat 3 classic by Herman Yao, uh, with all new cover art by Kung Fu Bob. And again, different extras to the ones that we saw on the Vinegar Syndrome version. I'll leave links down to the, all, all those down below. I think the pre-orders are already up on Amazon, but haven't appeared on 88's own website so far, which is pretty common. Um, they generally don't really put their titles up for pre-order on their own site until just before release. But you can find these already and more information about them on Amazon. Jumping into November, and we see two releases coming from Criterion. The first is going to be on the 1st of November, and it's a 4K release of Wong Kar Wai's In The Mood For Love. Uh, this is one that I have previously already have the standard Criterion version for, so I'm not too sure if I'm going to be able to stretch to the 4K, particularly as I don't yet have a 4K player. But I am very interested in their other big release for the month, which is going to be Infernal Affairs Trilogy, coming on November the 15th. This is also getting a release from Criterion in the UK, which I'm very stoked about. It's all three movies um, together in a really quite nice set. It's quite pricey and extras I will put up the information of so you can kind of see exactly what's on the set, but it looks pretty damn cool. We also get, around about the same sort of time, 88's version of The Ace One Cometh uh, on November the 14th. This is the one with cover art by Sean Longmore. No idea on the extras so far on how they're going to compare to the Vinegar Syndrome version. As soon as I know, you will know. Day after the Iceman Cometh on November the 15th, and uh, jumping back to the States and to Shout Factory, and we get the Sunny Chiba Collection Blu-ray. This is, I believe, 
going to be seven movies all stacked into four discs. Uh, we're getting Yakuza Wolf, Yakuza Wolf 2, Bodyguard Kiba, Bodyguard Kiba 2, Shogun Shadow, Samurai Reincarnation, and Swords of Vengeance. Not too sure on the extra features so far, um, but that is already up for pre-order. Looks to be probably about the $50 mark, but pretty stoked to see that. Really a huge fan of Shout Factory's Street Fighter box set. Really nice to see them bringing out more Sunny Chiba movies. Week after that, on November the 21st, it's going to be, for me, I suspect, the release of the year. And this is Arrow's Shawscope Volume 2 box set. I've done a full breakdown of all the four movies that are going to be included on that and the extras i'll leave a link down to that video below this box set looks incredible it's an even better lineup of movies than we saw on volume one and volume one was easily my favorite release of last year volume two looks set to be even better absolutely fantastic stuff and just as i did with volume one i'm going to be lucky enough to get advanced review discs of this so i'm going to be covering every single disc in turn going through letting you know what to expect if you keep your eyes peeled for those videos coming hopefully pretty soon i'm hoping to kind of kickstart that next week if i can do if they arrive in time so yeah november the 21st you'll see the actual official release of shellscope volume 2 keep your fingers crossed it does not get delayed same day from eureka is uh, The Dead and the Deadly, another movie uh, featuring Sam Hung in the vein of Spooky Encounters. This one directed by the wonderful Wu Ma, who some people may know from Mr. Six. Uh, he's still acting, still directing, still going strong. Dead and the Deadly, very much a sort of supernatural comedy. Very similar. If you like the Mr. Vampire and the Spooky Encounters movies, you'll love this. Rounding at the end of the month, and one that I was very surprised to see crop up on the release schedule, is Wally -E, coming from Criterion as a 4K and Blu-ray combo on the 22nd of November. I think this is the first time that Criterion have done a Pixar movie. It's easily my favourite Pixar movie, and whilst it's not a Hong Kong or an Asian cinema title, it's one that I think I'm going to try and track down. It looks pretty damn cool. Extras look pretty incredible. Same sort of time, same day in fact, we're getting a re-release from Welgo USA of Hitman 1 and 2 in 4K. Uh, these are coming as two standalone titles and they'll be uh, released in the States only, but 4K is generally not region locked, so you'll be able to import those if you don't already have Welgo USA's incredible box set, which I don't. Uh, we also get, rounding out the very end of the month, on November the 29th, a release coming from Discotech of Sherlock Hound which is uh, Miyazaki's um, kind of really odd little TV series based on Sherlock Holmes with a dog in the lead role. Looks pretty damn good fun. I've never seen these, but uh, looks pretty um, looks pretty great. Uh, the trailer looks really entertaining, so it's one that I'm going to see if I can try and import. And like I say, that comes on November the 29th and rounds out the end of November, an expensive month. Getting us into December, and uh, we get at the beginning of the month uh, a release of The Killer. This is not the John Woo movie, The Killer. This is the fantastic Korean movie by the director of The Swordsman, starring Wang Juk. Um, the killer, the girl must die or the girl deserves to die. I can't remember its subtitle. Anyway, coming from Cine Asia, Cine Asia on the 5th of December, uh, a movie that I really, really, really enjoyed. Actually, it's kind of uh, nice to see this coming onto physical media. No words yet on if there's a nice Korean version of this coming. I will keep my eye out and let you know if there is. A week later after that, on December the 13th, which is actually my birthday, uh, we get a surprising release from 88 Films of Jackie Chan's Gorgeous. Once more with Sean Longmore on cover art duties. This is maybe not everybody's favourite Jackie Chan movie, but does feature everyone's favourite Brad Allen versus Jackie Chan fight. Pretty incredible. And again, another Shu Q movie who we're, we're going to see also in Viva Erotica. Uh, this one with infinitely less nudity than you'll see in Viva Erotica though. Uh, but gorgeous. All round, I think it's a pretty sweet movie. It's maybe not, like I say, not my favourite Jackie Chan movie, but I really enjoy it. And it's nice to kind of see it getting a decent release. We also get... 88 Films uh, putting out a US title, they're putting out a release of, of Michelle Yeoh's Magnificent Warriors. This has also been teased out uh, by Eureka for a UK release, but 88 Films are pulling a vinegar syndrome and beating Eureka to the punch by getting the US version out first. So that's coming on December the 15th. All we've seen so far is the cover art. Again, this is by Sean Longmore. No idea exactly on the extras so far, but that's going to be... Uh, a Region A locked version and then us of us in the UK will have to wait a little bit longer for Eureka to bring out the Region B. Also bringing out their version as previously mentioned of Police Story 3. So 88 bringing out their standalone Blu-ray and also their 4K release of Police Story 3 Supercop. Different extras to the, the Eureka version as I previously mentioned. No idea exactly what these extras are going to be yet but I think they're creating an awful lot of original content for it themselves. Uh, both those coming I think about the 20th of December, exact date to be confirmed and again Sean Longmore on cover our duties and both of these US releases only so there'll be no release from 88 films of these two titles in the UK if you want you have to track down the Eureka versions or you're gonna have to import them um, and again we'll try my, my very best to see if I can cover both there's one other title in, in December which um, I think will be on a few people's radar it's not on mine but Bloodsport is getting a 4k blu-ray release out of Germany 
That's coming from Cape Light Pictures in Germany. Um, not one that I suspect I'll track down myself, but one that I'm sure a huge amount of the Jean-Claude Van Damme fans would be very excited about. And that takes us to the end of December. There's now a whole bunch of other titles that we know are coming, but have no definitive release date for. As soon as I know, I will do another update of, of one of these type of videos. But just to cover the titles, so Eureka have teased out they're bringing out a release of Yes, Madam, uh, directed by Corey Yoon and co-starring Cynthia Rothrock. Absolutely incredible movie. And um, most of us in the UK maybe know that as Police Assassins from the old Hong Kong Legends DVD, but an absolutely incredible action movie. I'm very, very happy to see that making its debut onto Blu-ray in the UK. They're also bringing out their version of Magnificent Warriors, which, as mentioned, 88 films will beat them to the punch with their US release. And they're also going to give us Royal Warriors. No idea if these are going to be in 2022 or if this is going to push into 2023. Uh, Eureka have not yet announced their December lineup. And we'll have to kind of wait and see what sort of date is attached to those. But they certainly teased out all three titles. Then two teasers from Vinegar Syndrome. Um, again, Cynthia Rothrock. And uh, it's going to be Cynthia Rothrock's Sworn to Justice coming from Vinegar Syndrome, as well as Chuck Norris's Sidekicks. And then a pretty wonderful tease from Era 4444, who've announced four titles that are going to bring out. I suspect all these will be into 2023, but they're pretty exciting titles nonetheless. We get Fatal Termination, starring Moon Lee and Philip Cole, which is a bonkers movie with some of the most insanely dangerous stunts really ever perpetrated in a Hong Kong movie. I say perpetrated because some of them are grossly illegal, like holding a kid out of the the window of a moving car is probably the most famous one, but yeah, pretty shady, but great movie. We also get Challenge of the Lady Ninja, which is directed by Lee Soi Nam, uh, director of Shaolin vs. Lama and The Hot, The Cool, The Vicious, which is a pretty great movie, uh, co-starring Chen Quen Tai. Pretty great fun. And then two Taiwanese movies, Thrilling Bloody Sword from 1981 and Imperial Sword Killing the Devil from 1981. Imperial Sword particularly, um, I'm quite intrigued to see. I've never seen the movie, but I know that Chen Sheng from The Five Deadly Venoms was the action director of that movie. So very intrigued to see what they put together for those releases. And guys, that is it. That is all the ones that I think I can see if I can try and cover. I'm going to do my best. I don't even think I'm going to be able to cover all these. There must be like 43 odd titles in that big list. I'm going to leave uh, an open comment section down below. So let me know any other titles that you yourselves are particularly interested in. And I will do a pinned comment at the top and try and collate all the other ones that I didn't include in this video. Again, links to all these are going to be underneath. I am an Amazon affiliate now, and although it's a tiny, tiny amount that I get if you do order and then follow through with the order through Amazon, it does uh, all mount up. So even though it's only a couple of pence every time that you get a release, um, if enough of you do it, then it does mount up and let me see if I can do those comparison videos particularly because it's expensive to double dip on titles. Thank you very much for sitting through this. I know it's a long one, but there's so many things covering. I've been the Fanatical Dragon. Please subscribe to the channel if you do not already. I love making these sorts of videos, uh, so let me know what you're most excited about coming later in the year, which titles are going to be essential for you, which you're, you're not going to bother with, all that sort of good stuff in the comments below. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care.